Okay, we're going to revisit <clears throat> three five, which is finding intervals of increasing or decreasing. This is definitely going to be on tests and things in the future. So let's look at this. We got to figure out where this thing is increasing and decreasing. And a lot of people think y values on this, and it has nothing to do with the y values. It has everything to do with the x values. So I, it's just something I really can't do on the board. I mean, I want to show you say in green here if if I'm in a little car <clears throat> and I'm cruising along left to right this car is now going uphill okay we call this increasing we call that increasing here the car is going downhill still going left to right here this is called decreasing and here increasing so the intervals, if I said, right, the intervals of increasing on that blank and the intervals of decreasing on this blank, what you're keyed in on are these x values, this negative 4 and this 2 here. Okay, now if they're not, if you don't have something pre-graphed like this and you have to graph a function on the calculator, you'll have to find this maximum and this minimum point here but it's a it's all about the x value of that point not the y value and I wanted to just visually show you that if I say take red here and draw a dotted line that's super straight as you can see right down through this and then draw another red dotted line here right down through two and through that minimum this this is the interval okay that and then this part I'll do it in a bright yellow okay actually now that I have this it would be smarter to do that in green because as you can see the two green arrows, this and this, that is increasing. That's the increasing part, and the red one's decreasing. So when you go to put math to these intervals, let's just look at the decreasing part. It's from here to here. Okay, that's where it's decreasing. It's from negative 4 to 2. It has nothing to do with these y values. People get that messed up all the time. It's negative 4 to 2. Okay, that would work just fine for for decreasing. In fact, I'll just outline that in red. Increasing would be this negative infinity barrier out here, even though it's not really a barrier, up to negative four. That would be an interval of in or yeah, of increasing, negative infinity to negative four. And then the other one would be starting here and moving this way to positive infinity. So it would be from 2 to positive infinity. And I just wanted to show you all that visual stuff and try to convince you that it has to do with the x-axis, not the y-axis. See y'all.